Hi. So here's part three of the network reconfiguration and step two of the plan. Moving the camera server to the PoE switch and removing the guest LAN. And just visually, just to give you an idea of what's happening there, we can have a look at this. And there we go. So removing the moving the camera server, so it was moving the switch, POE switch from over here to here, and then moving the camera server onto the POE switch. And we've lost the guest LAN at this point. So the way I'm gonna deliver that is I have here a list of steps which I've been working on to see what I need to do. So first thing is go to the current DMZ configuration page and get the MAC addresses for the um, static assignments. Disable the DHCP, go to the DMZ interface, dis disable the DMZ interface because I won't be using that anymore. Well, I'll, I'll, let's go through these as I do them. So here we are on uh, PF Sense. I've already signed in. So let's go to the services, the DMZ, DHCP server. And let's get these MAC addresses. And I can save these over here. Right, so done with this. Let's disable the DHCP server on this and we can save that. So no more DHCP addresses on this interface. Then we go to the DMZ interface before we forget. Where is it? DMZ. Let's disable this interface. Save. Apply changes. Right, now let's go DHCP server and we'll put in the new static addresses on the camera network. So this is all ready to go. So let's add in these addresses, add. So the first MAC address I've got, see down here, I've got three cameras Actually, I've only got two cameras at the moment. One of them broke. So that's that. And I'm going to give this an IP address of 192.168.50. Let's make it 201. I think that's what it currently is. Yeah, 101. Because I got oh, the... Um, Let's make it 51. 51. And that can be left. Left camera. And all these can be defaults. Save. No, I should add another one. Okay, add the next one. Let's add camera two. One and two dot one six eight dot fifty dot fifty two. Host name. Right camera. Right hand camera. Anything else? 
this is default save add another one so I don't have the door camera at the moment we've already moved the Plex server so we've just got the camera server the NVR to put in and 192.168.50.0.0 his name Camserve. Camera Saver Network Video Recorder and save and apply changes. So now these cameras. So one thing here, I use I use static IPs for a lot of the devices, but I use it via DHCP. So what this means is, currently, if you look here, these are on a network that's a 10 series network. But I don't have to go in and modify, because I haven't hard coded these addresses on the devices, I don't have to go in and change them on the device. I can just move the, I can just change the DHCP, power them off, power them on again, and they'll get the new addresses. So that just makes moving things around the network really easy. Um, and that is it. Let me edit that. camera left and that camera all right and okay and apply changes So, disable the DMZ interface, change the camera, DHCP config camera network, add the MAC addresses. Now I need to go to the switch and assign the ports to these new, uh, assign the VLAN to these, to these ports. Right. Let's go to the switch. So I need to Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is plugging in this cable into this port. Um, so I need to configure this this port here for VLAN fifty. And I need to configure this port for VLAN 50 as well. And this one will, this port here will be untagged. And this one will be tagged. So let's go and do that. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. So we have got uh, one, two, three, four. So port five. So let's go. Let's, first of all, let's go through and add the new VLAN. So this is going to be VLAN 50. And it is going to cover port. 
One, two, three, four, five. That's going to be tagged. And then port 24 is going to be untagged. So let's apply that. Now, let's go through and change the default settings. So 24 is going to be port 50, number 5, that's going to change to 50 as well, although it's going to be tag traffic that's coming through there, apply, okay, and now we've got, so let's remove port 5 from VLAN 1, and I think 24, yeah, we remove that one from VLAN 3. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. So we've now got, if you think of the way the switch is laid out, that's the, that's the top left-hand port, which is uh, still the, the LAN port. Then that's the lower one. Then that's the top one we've got here. So that's untagged for VLAN 2 and tagged for VLAN 20. That's the lower one. Then back to the top. So we've got tagged for VLAN uh, 50 on port 5. Then coming across here, 24 is untagged. So that's that. So now, let's log up. Oops. Out. Now I need to go to the uh, server and actually rearrange the cables. So I'll just go and do that and then we can check that everything's up and running. Hey. Okay, so first things first, we can see the camera connection is now online. That was the delivery of Red X next to it before, although I didn't show you that. I can see that now. So let's go into status DHCP leases and one nine two dot one six eight dot fifty and there we go so we got two oh one that's the cam save registered I see this isn't this who say they're active oh online yeah okay online and then we've got 52 which is the right hand camera and 51 is the left hand camera so let's just double check status system logs DHCP Scroll to the bottom. Okay. And that changed. Oh, plug event detected. Okay, well, let's see what happens. So, HTTP, count on four forward, one nine two dot one six eight dot um, fifty dot fifty one. And there's the camera. Fifty two. And there's the other one. Right, and let's see. Now I've got some problems with this um, camera server. It, it the disk filled up and it crashed, so this may not work. Okay, it does work. 
Um, for Flash Stadium, because I'm running Zoneminder. Yeah. There's the, oh, there you go. So these are the, all the old addresses, which obviously it can't find. This space, 94% full. Okay. So I've got some work to do on this anyway. But, yeah, that seems to be working. Just need to change these. Let's go and do one of these now. So, so unfortunately, these are all hard-coded. So, 192.168.50.51. Save. This one's going to be the same. Save. That's fifty two. Save. Yeah, and they've come green. Do they get any data? 52. Let's refresh this. Still thinking about it. There we go. Okay, so that's all the cameras operational now. So I think I'm going to say that's step two. Oops, finished. And so don't forget to, if you like this video, please like it. Uh, and if you want to hear, want to see the next, get be notified when the next one comes out. Please subscribe, and ring the bell, and you'll get a notification when the next one comes. See you soon.